In 2018, Automation Manager is more powerful than before. Most of the new advanced functionality is added to Automation Manager Plus only, so please get in contact with Alphacam for an up-to-date feature comparison chart. If we look at the Automation Manager tab in Alphacam, you can see there's a new settings button. From here, we can turn on and off Automation Manager Plus and CDM functionality. For example, if you're trying Automation Manager Plus out, you can activate it here. We also have a choice of database, Standard or Microsoft SQL Server. And going over to nesting, you'll see that we've got some more settings. You might be familiar with these if you use nesting already in Alphacam. We've added cut small parts first. If checked on, parts within the nested sheet operations will be sorted from smallest to largest. We've got use bridge nesting. This creates a continuous tool path keeping the cutter at the final depth with a bridge between the parts, rather than the retraction and rapid move between parts. Cut whole parts together. This causes the operations to be reordered so that each part is cut completely before moving to the next part. This is usually used in conjunction with drill then cut inner parts first, and the NC code set to linear. Group each part separately. This doesn't affect the nesting result, but rather creates toolpaths, operations and geometries that are grouped by part in the Operations Manager and the Layers Manager. Order by part. This will cause the operations to be ordered so that all the paths that are in the same part are cut together before moving on to the next part. Remove groups. This will remove any grouping that has been assigned to any parts prior to nesting. Suppress final sort. When Alphacam does a nest, the last thing it does is to reorder the tool paths. This minimizes rapids and saves production time. It works the same way as auto order tool paths does in Alphacam's main edit tab. With this option, you can switch off the optimizing logic and the parts will be cut in the order in which they're nested. Suppress redraw. This gives a significant speed improvement time when running very large nests. Simply suppressing the drawing of each sheet until the nest is complete saves time. Prevent nesting in apertures. This prevents parts being placed within other parts that have internal cutouts or apertures. Nesting in apertures makes a more efficient nest, but sometimes is not wanted when the aperture scrap needs to be preserved. Minimise sheet patterns. This minimises the number of unique part arrangements in sheets, and so creates more identical sheets when possible, which reduces the number of NC code programs required. Repeat first row or column. This is only applicable when one part is being nested and the nest is required in strips. Rotated pass first on all parts. In rectangular nesting, this option ensures that parts with rotation allowed are tried first. And if we go over to the Configurations tab, last release we added Automatic Machine Table Collision Checking where you can enter a safe Z depth, and if any toolpath goes deeper than the set value, we get a warning while processing. This function now has another method for collision checking called tolerance collision check. When set to material top at Z0, it subtracts the material thickness and then subtracts the tolerance value you have entered to give the safe maximum depth. So this setting can be used universally as you don't have to change it for different thicknesses of material. New functionality for 2018 R1 also includes the ability to define a parent-child part relationship. The contents view of the Automation Manager Processing tab has been converted to show a structure tree for files contained within an Automation Manager job. The child parts or subcomponents as they're called in Automation Manager, have similar properties to a job file. 
layer mapping, material and nesting properties can be set. The only difference is the quantity field. For a subcomponent, the quantity value specified is the quantity per assembly. For example, a box assembly may have a quantity of four side components per box manufactured. Automation Manager allows folders containing subcomponents to be added to a job file. When adding a folder, all compatible file types will be added. When adding a job file, if there is a folder with the same name as the file being added, the folder will automatically be added as a subcomponent folder along with its contents. When processing jobs containing subcomponents, values of any parametric variables or equations will be inherited from the master drawing to subcomponent parametric variables of the same name. For example, the master drawing may contain an equation to calculate the aperture width. Providing the subcomponent drawing of the aperture contains a parameter of an identical name, the value will be inherited saving the need to configure parameter values for every subcomponent. In part settings, we further improved the alignment vector option that was added last release. This is used for assigning a custom vector to parts, which is then used to align the part with the X or Y axis. The alignment vector can be entered manually or set in a CSV or text import file as I showed in the 2017 R2 Automation Manager video. And now we also have an even more user-friendly way to set it. There's a new Pick a Solid Edge option, which makes it very simple to set a vector. When you use this option, the model will be opened in AlphaCam ready for you to select an edge. Pick a straight edge directly from the solid model, and the X, Y and Z coordinates will be entered automatically. The coordinates are automatically simplified by assuming the start point is 0, 0, 0 and only the simplified end coordinates are displayed. This means that you don't have to have a part saved in a specific orientation ready for processing. All the alignment can be handled from within Automation Manager. The 2018 version of Automation Manager supports fittings, which allows the user to attach one or more fittings to a job file or subcomponent. A small sample library of fitting types is installed with AlphaCam in Automation Manager Fittings in your Lycan folder. The fitting types are taken from this folder structure. When adding a fitting to a job file, the user is prompted for the fitting type. Then to choose the AlphaCam drawing from the library. The fitting files may be grouped using folders, for example by manufacturer or supplier. Previews will also be shown, or a picture if there's a bitmap file in the folder with the same name as the fitting. The user is then asked to choose where the selected fitting file should be inserted in the job file. Fitting files may be inserted at any location on any work plane of the job file. Datum circle geometry needs to be defined, the centre point of the circle being the insertion point. Another very handy addition is the ability to preview individual parts by right-clicking on them in the parts list and selecting the option Show Preview. This function processes the part and opens it in the AlphaCam interface so you can check in detail that everything is as it should be. This makes it quicker to set up jobs ready for processing and ensures you'll get the correct output without you having to process the whole job. Press Escape or right click and you're taken back to Automation Manager. By selecting different fittings from the library, many different variations of a design can be achieved. Fittings are also now supported in a CSV or text import file.
Fittings are specified in a single field of the CSV using a subdelimiter character to split the fitting type and the fitting file. Fitting type corresponds to the name of the folder defined in the fitting library in Automation Manager Fittings in the Lycomdir folder. Fitting file is the name of the Alphacam drawing within the fitting type folder. For example, to specify arch glazing as the aperture fitting type, it would follow the following format. Aperture, semicolon, arch glazing. Fitting subfolders can also be specified in a CSV file with a backslash. It's important to note datum circles for CSV imported fitting types will need to be selected. Another thing to note in this release is that Automation Manager is more keyboard friendly, with all the usual shortcuts being available for copy, paste, delete and rename. And finally, we've made Automation Manager more powerful in the Essential level of AlphaCam and in Standard level. Essential has been enhanced by allowing users to make three layer mapping setups instead of one. Machine order lists has been added and reports has been added. And in Standard, you can now process parametric sketches.